to do a uh, series of videos on this um, steel stairs here. Um, and there's, I've done handrails and platforms and <clears throat> steel landings and all kinds of stuff. But I figured I'd keep it simple and just do the set of stairs first. Um, so what you're seeing is the actual finished product. Then I'll kind of work, instead of making you guys watch it be built from scratch, because there's a lot of unnecessary clicking, I'll just kind of step you through it. <clears throat> the original package I got was from a large chemical plant, and one of their subcontractors was doing just the stairs. And they contacted me and wanted me to do this sub out the stairs for them. And so that seemed fine. And my experience with large projects is that when you get the packet, you know, I got a packet of 100 drawings. I got um, all of their details consisted of probably over 250 pages of details. I got a packet for... Um, Oh, how things were put together. And one of the things I found out with all large projects is there was a number of mistakes. And so what I'll do is I'll show you the PDF. Um, and you can see in the PDF, um, let me see if I can get it zoomed in here. I'll just do that that this is the set of stairs that they wanted built right here. And um, one of the things that made this project a little difficult was everything's measured with elevation. <clears throat> and <clears throat> so I created a, a world coordinate system and I actually worked at elevation. So I, I had zero, zero, and then I just worked up at um, 1,100 feet. And what that does is that means that everything stays relative. I can take dimensions off zero, zero and get accurate numbers. Uh, I used um, ordinate dimensioning, which worked out really well with uh, calling out the stair heights. But one of the things you'll see in this set of plans right off the bat, they're calling for 11 risers at seven inches, which is six feet, five inches. And that's in this area right here. And they give me a couple of elevations. The top of concrete here is 1186.08. And then the top of this wall, which also is the top of the landing, is 1191.50. And then the bottom of, or the top of this landing is 1190. It ended up that this set of stairs, this two stair here, which is actually three risers at six inches or 18 inches, was correct. Um, a foot and a half is 18 inches. So these are measured in feet. The problem came in, I started working on this and was really confused. They've got the wrong number of treads, both in rise and run, and they've got the wrong height called out. And the problem is, is um, I don't know where they got the extra tread from, but uh, if I count these, it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten treads, but it's actually 11 risers. And when you subtract um, 119150, this, from 118608, you get uh, 5 foot 5.04 inches, or 5.42 feet, if you want to do it that way. And uh, <clears throat> so they screwed this up. I didn't notice it till quite a ways into the drawing. And then I started checking these elevations. You know, I wasn't sure if top of wall here was maybe not the landing. They were going to have another step over the wall. And they weren't very clear, obviously, because they didn't have any uh, sectional views. And so I had to end up submitting a change order back to the engineering firm. And they had to come back and they adjusted them out. And they actually adjusted